In the following demonstrations, we shall describe typical alignment procedures on a bibby type coupling. However, the same procedures can be used on virtually any coupling type. Let's begin as we describe axial top and bottom checks. It must be assumed that motor rock has been eliminated and that a solid base has been established as you learnt in program MCA1. Set the motor toward the driven unit so that an approximate 3 mm gap exists between the half couplings. Next, maneuver the motor until both half couplings edges are parallel. Then secure the motor hold down bolts and do this progressively and evenly to ensure a level pull down. Use a segment of spring to join the two half couplings in order that they may be rotated in unison. For the purposes of taking measurements, we shall use the dial gauge method. You will require two dial gauges and a gauge clamp. Attach the clamp to the motor half coupling. Next, attach a dial gauge to the clamp so that the plunger contacts the driven coupling parallel to the shaft. Adjust the dial to obtain an approximate 2 mm reading on the small inset gauge. Rotate the coupling to bring the gauge to the top of the coupling. Then set the main pointer to zero on the scale. Now carefully rotate the coupling by 180 degrees and then read the gauge and note the variance. If the needle moves in a positive direction, that is the plus direction, then the bottom gap is wider than at the top. By the same reasoning, a negative needle movement means that the bottom gap is narrower than at the top. Having established the variation and the position of the wide gap, we can calculate the thickness of shims we need to add, and we can decide under which motor feet to place them. Let's see how. To calculate the shim thickness, T, we use a simple formula where T is equal to the measured gap variance, which we call A, divided by D, which is the diameter of the half coupling, all multiplied by CD, the center distance between the motor's hold down bolts. If the D and CD figures are unknown, then you will have to measure each accurately. Next, make or obtain shims of the calculated thickness. Then place equal shims beneath the motor's front or rear feet depending upon which way the front needs to be tilted. The simple rule is to place shims under the front feet if the gap is wider at the bottom and likewise place shims under the rear feet if the gap is wider at the top. Recheck parallel alignment and secure the motor hold down bolts. Recheck the actual runout, which should not exceed a figure of 0, 0, 0,05 millimeters. Stop the video now and perform the exercise for task number two as given in your workbook.